So I want to welcome everyone to the February 8th Operations and Engineering Building Project Neighborhood Meeting. Uh, just so everyone's aware, this video, uh, excuse me, this meeting is going to be video recorded for uh, playback later for those that uh, can't make the meeting tonight. I'm going to introduce our, uh, our panelists, uh, General Manager Roland, Roland Williams. Roland's been the General Manager with CB San uh, since uh, 2002. Prior to his appointment as General Manager, he was a Collection System Manager for uh, seven years. Uh, you're also going to hear from Associate Engineer Landon Lockery. Landon is uh, CBC as Associate Engineer, has been with the Engineering Department since 2010. He's responsible for overseeing the Engineering Department, which handles the day-to-day -day engineering responsibilities, including lateral repair permits, plan reviews, and the pretreatment program. The Engineering Department is also responsible for evaluating and executing the CVSAN Sanitary Sewer Collection System Capital Improvements Program. You'll also hear from Engineering Technician Evan Choi. Evan has been with the CVCN Engineering Department since 2018. In addition to handling day-to-day -day engineering responsibilities, Evan is a key point of contact for the Operations and Engineering Building Project and helps manage project coordination. Uh, just some uh, quick guidelines as far as meeting participation. Please keep your questions to the topic of the Operations and Engineering Building. If you have questions about other CVCN topics, please email them to me directly, michael at cvcn.org, so that I can follow up with you directly. Um, if you're participating in this meeting, use a computer, please post your question in the meeting chat. The meeting moderator, that's me, will read your question to the panelists. If you're participating in this meeting by telephone and have a question, please do the following. Dial star nine to raise your hand. TVCN's meeting moderator, me, will tell you when it's your turn to ask a question. You will press star six to unmute yourself. Uh, when you are unmuted, ask your question, and you will be remuted after uh, you've asked your question. Of course, we have a very... Uh, Co cozy group here tonight, so um, you know we can just kind of open up the floor uh, at the end of the meeting for uh, for questions and answers. So, um, without further ado, I'd like to uh, introduce Roland Williams. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mike, and thank you for that introduction. Um, yeah, welcome everyone uh, to the uh, continuing edition of our uh, public um, neighborhood meetings uh, as we progress with our project. Again, we're really excited about this project. We think it's going to uh, be a really good project for the community in terms of how we provide our uh, wastewater and solid waste services to the community. Um, and also we think that this project is going to improve the corner right there um, and be one of the landmark buildings in Castro Valley. Uh, we certainly do welcome this interaction. Uh, we've gotten a lot out of it and a lot of it has been applied into the project. Um, and this is something that we will be continuing uh, even into construction um, and having meetings with the neighbors, uh, just to make sure that there's a, a really good um, opportunity for communication and lines of communication so that we can uh, be able to interact with each other and be good neighbors to one another. Absolutely. And at this time, uh, we'd like to share the, uh, the project video for those of you who are watching uh, after this meeting and haven't uh, seen the video or this is your first time hearing about the project. We hope that this video will. Uh, We'll kind of get you up to speed and uh, and answer maybe some of the questions that you have. So let me just. Uh... So the consolidated operations project has really been about a decade in the making. Currently, we basically have three sites that we use for storage, for operation, for engineering, for permitting, and that's just woefully inefficient. The vision is to really bring all of the efforts that CV San has been doing for the last 82 years under one roof. This sets the next 80 years of operation for CV San in this community. If you look back in the history of Castro Valley, it was primarily ranches and farms, and these early residents realized the importance of proper sanitation. So in 1939, they formed the Castro Valley Sanitary District, and it served Castro Valley for the last 80 plus years. Now, when CB San was first founded, it served about 5,000 people, about 45 miles of pipe. We've grown a lot since then, right? Today, over 75,000 residents, 500 businesses, 160 miles of pipeline, eight pump stations, all leading to the wastewater treatment plant. This new building, really just represents a continuation of that vision that those farmers had way back then. This project is being financed out of reserves. And a lot of people ask us how we're able to do that. Well, CV San is, as I stated earlier, has been planning for this project for over a decade. And we think that's gonna be a huge benefit to the community because they won't have to carry a debt for decades to come. The cost of construction escalates every year. 
And when you're talking about a multi-million dollar project, even the, the smallest increment of increase adds cost to the ratepayer. One of the drivers for this project is security. People might be surprised to, to learn that CV San has more than 15 vehicles in its fleet. The total value of our fleet is approximately a million and a half dollars, with some of those individual vehicles costing as much as $500,000. To have those vehicles be stored outside reduces the life expectancy and also makes them prone to theft. CV San provides wastewater and solid waste service to the community of Castro Valley. Those services are highly regulated by both state and federal regulations. As such, over the last 20 years, CV San staff has doubled to be able to accommodate all of the regulations as they come forward. This new building will be able to accommodate all of our staff at one location with room for growth as new emerging regulations come forth. We believe now is the right time to build this building because as I had discussed earlier, we do not have enough space for our staff and quite frankly for the fleet that we currently run out of this location. So we do need a site that's larger now. The new building is going to visually enhance that corner of Center Street and Castro Valley Boulevard tremendously. I mean, if you ever driven by there, there's barren land, there's that old house that's, I think, built in the 1930s, and there's a bunch of old buildings that honestly look pretty bad. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to build a new state-of-the-art building. It's going to look uh, cutting edge. It's going to have a nice demonstration garden out on the front of that corner where people that walk by can look at the landscaping, look at the plants there. It's going to be a building that Castro Valley is really proud of. The building will have large meeting rooms, a, a brand new state-of-the-art boardroom. Uh, it will be approximately 20,000 square feet with uh, large vehicle bays, which will be able to store our large maintenance vehicles securely and safely out of the elements. And if you are familiar with our existing site at Marshall Street, you would know that the vehicles are all in sight and out in the elements. And our new facility at Center Street will allow us to bring the vehicles uh, further back off the street, as well as store some of the vehicles inside. One of the key things about this project is we want to be good neighbors. We held public meetings in the past and what we heard from the neighbors around us is concerns about noise about our operations. So we're going to build an eight foot sound wall on the north, west and south side to really mitigate those sounds coming from our operations. The building will be LEED certified and we will be utilizing uh, as much natural light to reduce the electrical use during the day while staff are in the offices working. And we will be installing electric uh, vehicle charging stations and both for potential public use as well as staff use as CB San looks to expand our fleet into the electrical vehicle market in the future. When we finish construction at the site, it's going to be a, a great achievement for CV San. We'll be able to bring everyone together under one roof, working closely together, improve communication, just create a, a much better work environment for CV San, our staff, and allow us to provide even better services to the residents and ratepayers. Yeah, first day in the building, um, I'm going to feel a sense of accomplishment and relief. The district bought this property like almost 10 years ago. I worked on it for five years. And so it's definitely a lot of hard work that's gone into this. And so I can't wait to step into that building. I'm most excited about the community garden and the bay friendly landscaping. I'm looking forward to having all of our staff under one roof to increase the efficiency and to serve our community even better. I think it's really cool that the new building is going to have a lot of green features, that it's going to be LEED certified, and it's going to have charging stations for electric vehicles. This is kind of the way of the future and I'm glad CV San is in front of it. I think it says a lot about the financial discipline of CV San that we're able to build the new building without raising rates on residents or taking on any new debt. As a CV San employee and resident of Castro Valley, I'm really excited for that corner to be upgraded. I'm excited about the new facility because it will improve the experience of all third graders that attend our four hours field trips. CV San is an important part of our community now and this building is going to be an important part of our community's future. For the most up-to-date project information, please visit cvsound.org forward slash project. All right, hope everyone uh, enjoyed that. Uh, and now this is uh, the outline of tonight's meeting. I'm gonna turn things over to Evan. All right, thanks, Mike. Thanks everyone for, for attending. Uh,
tonight. Um, as always, we'll start with a recap of the, jan of the last meeting, so January 11th. Uh, then we'll talk about the current progress uh, for the project. Uh, we'll end it with the project schedule, um, and then we'll open it up to any public comments. So recap of the January 11th meeting. It was mainly to discuss the, the trees that were being proposed for um, the north and south uh, ends of uh, the sound wall, the Carolina cherry tree hedge and the Saratoga tree. Um, some of the comments from that were mainly to uh, address perhaps maybe moving away, moving the, some of the trees away from the uh, um, home on the north end, uh, just because it's, it's so close to um, the sound wall. So, we went back to our landscape architect uh, to see if they can move any of the trees away from that property line. And, and we were able to. Um, they were able to move the Saratoga trees, which were uh, the trees that were of concern, um, away from the property line. Um, so it's not overhanging any roofs and predominantly not extending on any of the property line uh, on that north end. So uh, we were able to move uh, those trees without any trouble. So for current progress, uh, Dolan estimates that 50% of the construction, 50% construction documents will be complete uh, later this month, um, which kind of leads us to our project schedule in that everything is currently on schedule. Uh, Dolan's working, uh, you know, currently working on the construction documents. Um, we anticipate having them ready for building permit submittal by April of this year. And we anticipate awarding the contract in either August or September of this year, um, which would be a one year construction period, um, hopefully starting in September of this year and hopefully uh, completing um, by October of next year. So with that, that's the end of the presentation. Um, we'll open it up to obviously any, any public comments. Mike, or my Mike, um, Evan, did you want to go a little, um, so it sounds, I, I, we're definitely going to get the 50 percenters in the next um, 10 days or so, right? We're going we're to have those in hand. We will review those as staff. So that's pretty exciting. We'll hit that milestone here in the next couple of weeks. Um, so we're, we're holding our schedule. Um, and then um, obviously we'll, we'll need to take that to the board uh, for just so that they're uh, kind of a, as an update for them as well. Um, and um, so, yeah, we're moving, we're moving right ahead and we're, uh, we're excited because we believe we're, we're definitely holding our schedule. Wow, did you have any uh, questions or comments? Oh my God. Oh my God. Sorry. Hi, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mike and Mr. William. I appreciate that uh, you listen to our uh, listening to us, uh, the opinion. Um, I want to say thank you. Fantastic. Well, yeah, you know, we definitely uh, want to be good neighbors, and uh, like Roland said, you know, these meetings have been really helpful. Uh, you know, we've gotten a lot out of it, and um, you know, we look forward to uh, you know uh, having a grand opening uh, October of next year and having you guys over to to check out. Uh, you know, the, the final building, and I'm, I'm sure you'll be checking the grounds out before then as well. But, uh, you know, like I said, we look forward to being really good neighbors and uh, appreciate all your feedback on this project. Thank you. Also, I have a little bit um question. <laughs> Can I have a... Sure. Yeah, Mr. William, because I not really know um the how the truck, they they working on the, you know, uh, citizens have a lot of different kind of truck, right? And last Monday, uh, because I take a day off um, at home, so, and then I see the Civison truck is uh, just, you know, part on the on the parking and then, but the engine is always on for uh, three to four hours. So my question is, um, do they have to turn on the engine for the, the whole time? I mean, since they park in the parking and then the engine has to be on, or they can turn off the engine because very, you know, the noise is very difficult. Uh, when they turn on the truck, turn on the engine for four hours, you, you, so I had to close all the window. And then I asked my parents, do they always like that? I mean, the, the truck is or never turn off the engine. My parents says, yes, they always like that. 
they used to like that. They already, but because I only take a one day off at home, so that's why I just got no. I I just know that. So I just want to know: Do the engine have to be on for the whole time? Uh, it depends on what they're doing. I don't know which vehicle it was. Uh, most of these vehicles, the way they operate is, um, they have to be on for us to 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 complete our operation. So I don't know what vehicle it it was. Do you do you can you describe it? Um, um that one is look like you have a. Uh, I think that one is new for you for you guys. Uh, let me turn off. Let me husband. The the that one is many wind tunnels in that one. Uh, one of the so one of the trucks has that um the uh, sewer suction suction on it. Okay, so it's the vat. It's the vat con. Yeah, some something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, we can look into that. Uh, yeah, when it's when it's when we're using it, it it's on. Um. But, I don't know. I don't know that we need it on for four hours. Uh, usually, we have it on. We go to a site, we'll service that site, and then we move on to another site. So I'll I'll need to check into that because no, just that uh, she's because when she took that day off, even I was home. It's like um, um, they park next to the fence, and they just it's like there's nothing. Like I'm guessing there's no. I don't know what she don't know why it needs to be on four hours just parked next to us yeah i mean certainly we can look into that i'm not sure i don't know what the operation was um <clears throat> what what day was that um today i'm not sure. monday monday no, monday or tuesday day, day before uh yesterday last uh last week last monday week, monday last week monday so the 31st yes january thirty. Okay. okay yeah let us yeah. look into that okay thank you very much any other uh, questions uh, specifically about the project or any other concerns? Yeah, Mike, can you send us a copy of that latest picture? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll send you a copy of the, uh, the presentation tonight. All right, thank you. Yeah, you bet. Oh, wow, one last question. Um, on, on the truck running, can you can you approximately tell me the start and stop time of that? Uh, I would say roughly when I notice it is around nine a.m. What time did it end? Whole oh, morning. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give so until they left. I guess until they left. Yeah, until so they you're left. saying like nine to one? Uh, give or take somewhere on that okay. like that. All right. No, they, it's just like we can. They can park there. Just that don't have to leave the engine on for the amount of time they're staying there. Yeah. Well, I need to. Yeah. Then again, I need to look into it. I need to understand what they were doing. But I, I definitely will circle back around on on it. Um, yeah. If they're if if they aren't doing anything, then the vehicle doesn't need to be running for that length of time. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I do want to be respectful of everybody's time. I know uh, Roland and Landon, you guys have other uh, committee meetings to, to run off to. So uh, I do want to thank everyone for uh, coming to the meeting tonight and participating. Again, you know, we're super uh, glad that we're having this process to discuss, you know, all aspects of the project and we're super excited about it. So we're, uh, you know, very thankful for uh, the community's input on it. Um, I will stick around the meeting is scheduled till 630, but uh, if you guys have other places you got to go and things you got to do, uh, feel free to uh, excuse yourself. Um, and again, this uh, this will be reposted. This video will be reposted for uh, for people that can uh, you know couldn't make the meeting tonight, so they can see it uh, at a later time. So just uh, again, thank you everyone for attending the meeting, and um, stay safe and healthy. Oh, next meeting. Hold on, <laughs> I, I read your mind, Evan. Let me pull it up. And I'll send uh, I'll send an invite for the next meeting uh, bow as well, just so you're uh, so you're in the, in the loop. But the next uh, neighborhood meeting will be Tuesday, March eighth, at uh, at six o'clock, same time. Okay, thank you. You bet.